During the course of FM23, a lot of us have found our favourite Wonder Kids in-game, the ones that have left their marks. And as is tradition, towards the end of each Football Manager, we are going to create our Wonder Kid Dream Team in today's video. That's right everyone, today we'll be looking at our Wonder Kid Dream 11 in FM23, a team of 11 of our favourites. We're not necessarily choosing the best players, so we're not going to have like Pedri, uh, Gavi, Musiala, etc, etc. No, we're looking at the ones that have really left their mark in this year's Football Manager world. If you do enjoy the video, smash the like button for us, subscribe for more, and let us know who would have made your Dream 11. And if you want to as well, you can check out my channel linked in the description. Over there, we've got shorts on Wonder Kids you might not have heard of, and also FM23 rebuilds. But let's take a look at goalkeeper, our first position in the Dream Team. Now, of course, a lot of you guys are going to agree, some are going to disagree with my picks, but this isn't actually the goalkeeper we've chosen. In each position, I'll be given an alternative option as well as the main option I've picked, and I'll try and move through them as as quick as possible but in the net we've got Elia Capriol of Bari here a team in the second division of Italy a very good goalkeeper one of the favorites of this year purely because one he's got good potential ability but really it's that price point a couple of million for a goalkeeper this good is an absolute bargain great ability all around lots of potential only 20 and already an important player for his team but he isn't the wonder kid goalkeeper in our dream team instead that award for me has to go to 16 year old Dennis Seaman if we're talking about players where it's kind of been their year in FM this is his one. It's his breakout year in the game. Is he going to be as good in future iterations of Football Manager? Who knows? But the 16-year-old young Stuttgart goalkeeper looks like he's got a great future ahead of him. Six foot three, capped for the under-17 Germany national team, valued at about 10 million, and you are certainly getting your money's worth if you're able to pick up the left-footed goalkeeper because he already has a lot of ability going for him, likes to rush out, good jumping reach as well, some nice overall goalkeeping attributes, and in most saves, minimum, he will be a regular goal goalkeeper for Stuttgart but most of the time he does go on to be one of the best goalkeepers in the world and for me it's just really been Dennis Seaman's year and I'm sure a lot of you will agree but of course you're all going to have your own opinion so let me know in the comments down below if you would have had someone different. Moving on to right back and our alternative pick in that position is 16 year old Martin Fernandez, who breaks out this year as one of the best value wonder kids in the whole game. We've done a wonder kid to superstar on him and he can become one of the best fullbacks in history and he only costs a million quid. 16 years of age, great ability all around, with plenty of potential to get better. Porto have a gem on their hands. They've got many in the Portuguese divisions, but there's someone that I do prefer to Martin in that right back spot. And that is, of course, Ivan Freshneda, who this year has made himself a fan favourite in my saves and I'm sure a lot of your saves as well. This guy is an absolute beast. One of the best right backs in terms of potential and also starting ability is very high for a 17 year old. The Spaniard has had a breakout year in the real life footballing world too. I've seen Dortmund, Arsenal, Real Madrid all linked with Freshneda here. He is currently playing for Valladolid in the Spanish divisions and he is an absolute gem of a wonder kid. His valuation is very high for a 17 year old but really if you do sign him you are sorted in that fullback spot for years to come. For our left backs I've got two that I think are very very close. The one that just misses out for me is Adrian Truffer who is an absolute brilliant player playing out for Stade Rennes out in the French divisions. Wanted by Palace in this save. He'll eventually play regularly for say a Champions League knockout standard side. He is that good at left back. One of the best options you can get. 20 years of age, great going forward but can also defend very well too. Plenty of potential to get better and not the world's biggest valuation considering how talented he is but there's one that I prefer but in my team he just misses out to Miguel Gutierrez or Girona in the Spanish divisions. This 20 year old left back He's just a star and most of the time he will become Spain's starting left back at some point in your saves. Great going forward, great defensively too, great starting ability and potential not too expensive and usually throughout your save you can get him at a bargain price of around 8 million at the start here. I don't usually see it go too much higher than that. Usually I'm signing him a few years in for about 14, 15 million. Quite often I pick him up in my rebuilds on my channel and he absolutely tears it up and he's really came of note this year. Let me know if you would have had someone different at full back though and now let's move on to centre backs. Now this one is really tight and I'd understand most of you would have Giorgio Scalvini as a centre back in your Wonder Kid dream team but for me there's a couple of other options I preferred personally. A lot of it does have to do to be honest with the valuation with Scalvini. 40 million is quite a lot. Doesn't necessarily rule him out of being in the dream team mind you. That's not what we're picking players based on but the other two in this list I just personally prefer. You guys I'm sure might have Scalvini but six foot four Italian centre back who's going to be the future of 
his national team. He is an absolute beast. This has been the year where he's shined the brightest so far in football manager terms. I'm sure it's only going to get better for him. But for me, Usmane Diamande walks into that starting lineup in our Wonderkid Dream team after the winter update. He was already decent in game, but he got a huge boost in that winter update to become one of the best centre backs, not just in terms of potential, but in the game straight away and he's only 18. I spoke before about how much I love this guy, but 10 million quid at the start of this save for a player who physically is already as dominant as you would want at the age of 18, quick and good in the air, six foot three, great tackler, who can also pass really well too. What more could you want from a center back? Diamande is an animal and I'm sure he's in every single one of your Wonder Kid dream teams. But my more controversial pick is El Shadil Bitshiabu. In real life, he's moved to RB Leipzig, playing for PSG here. I'm a big fan of this man, left footed centre back an absolute physical monster at six foot five with 15 head in an amazing jumping reach and I know a lot of times in saves he doesn't really develop if he doesn't get a chance at PSG but if you do start developing this man with the potential he has he can become one of the best in the world without a doubt he's been sent to RB Leipzig where I'm sure he'll be worth 90 million for me he gets into my dream team a lot of you like I say will have Scalvini or maybe someone else Antonio Silva Levi Colville whoever it might be but for me I'm going for Bitshiabu at the back in terms of midfielders that come close but don't quite make the dream team for me Fabian Ryder has to be one Swiss 20 year old central midfielder great ability usually ends up at young boys for a few years despite being so good already for about 10 million pounds you can get a guy who with the right development can turn in to one of the best central midfielders in world football you can see already he's got a great base set of attributes to build from at the age of 20 and I'm a big fan of his the same for Martin Baturina doesn't quite make it in the dream team but is an absolute gem this year and has really shined alongside Fabian Ryder they were both decent in FM22 but this year they are unreal five or six million pounds for the Dinamo Zagreb midfielder who can also play attacking midfield I've had great success success with him if you sign him you can guarantee you'll sell him for 50 million in a few years even if he doesn't become a well beater you'll still get that much money because he is just such an undervalued asset a great player great ability at 19 and really suits the in-game engine but in that midfield position it's really hard to look past the three that I've gone for Warren Zeremere he's got one of the biggest potential ratings in all of FM23 a defensive midfielder who can play central midfield 16 years of age and already looks this good PSG have got a star on their hands and even though his transfer value is high I pay 25 million pounds for him at the age of 16 I really would because he can clearly go on to be one of the best in the world and this year was the year he broke out into the game he came around had that potential rating and we all knew we were going to see him become something big and in real life he started to get appearances for PSG he might get even better next year we'll soon find out arguably the biggest star of FM23 Alex Scott has got to be in this list I remember a month or so ago Football Manager released a graphic and showed that Alex Scott was one of the most signed players in the whole game and you can see why the man is playing in the second division of England valued at 12 or 13 million quid 18 years of age great ability after the winter update he's an even better option to try and sign now can play any role in that midfield already getting first team appearances in real life for Bristol and has now moved on to Bournemouth so it's likely we won't really get the chance of using him that much next year this was really Alex Scott's year in football manager and in real life too and I'm sure whenever we think about Alex Scott in the future we will think about this period in FM23 where he had the world at his feet and speaking of having the world at the our final midfielder is Arda Gula who I mean, kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, I know he was really loved already at Fenerbahce, but in the football manager world, once he got added into the game, it was game over. This man has amazing potential. And whilst his physicals have always been pretty awful in every save, they do get better over time, but those technicals are incredible. And I've seen so many versions of Arda Gula better than this. And that's saying something because he looks great here. Obviously in real life, he has now been picked up by Real Madrid, played for the national team, I believe, of Turkey, also played plenty of appearances for Fenerbahce, £10 million for Arda Gula. You cannot go wrong. This was his year in FM. And now he's gone to Real Madrid. Most of us won't ever be able to sign him. So this is going to go down for me as Arda Gula's year, and he has to be in the dream team. Going straight into the dream team, Andreas Schilderup has to be there for me. After January, he was a much worse prospect because he signed for Benfica, and it made him a lot harder to sign. But before that, we were all going crazy for this guy from Nordschland, who looked incredible in game straight away, could play for the biggest teams in the world instantly, and had the potential to get better the Norwegian has a great future ahead of him after Benfica picked him up the hype kind of died down in the FM world because we couldn't sign him anymore but even still Andreas Schilderup is an absolute animal and he has to go into the dream team for me and it's of course the same story for Rooney Bargi the Swedish national is incredible got the world at his feet scored a Penenka penalty the other day for Copenhagen in the European qualifier and he showed he is 
going to be a star. To do that at such a young age really goes to show how talented he can be. It won't be long before he gets a big move and won't be available, but whilst he's at Copenhagen, he's been a must-sign this year in the FM world, can play for most teams straight away, and is going to get a lot better. To be 16 and this good is incredible, and he walks straight into that team and takes the right side position, which leaves only the striker. And this one is where it might get a bit controversial, because a lot of you might have seen the Brazilian flag in the thumb, or just assumed we were going to have Hendrik as the striker. He's actually my backup option, because... I've just, I don't know what it is about Hendrik. For me, he is incredible. And at the start of FM, we were all blown away by him. But a lot of people always said he never quite made it in their saves. Sometimes he got stuck at Palmerias and never got the chance. And then after that, he got signed by Real Madrid. He became extremely expensive and he's not the kind of player that anyone can really sign anymore. Yes, for the period before Real Madrid, he was an incredible prospect to pick up. One of the best wonder kids in FM history. I mean, look at those attributes on a 15-year-old. But in terms of availability for most people and just someone that I tended to prefer better, in all honesty, it goes to a different Brazilian. And that is Vitor Roque, potentially controversial I know to have him instead of Endrick but for me he is incredible being linked to Barcelona in real life as well for incredible fees we called him the next R9 when we did our video on him and I kind of still agree with it the man is a brilliant striker with incredible ability at 17 playing for ATP in the Brazilian divisions and he's only going to get better he's a name that I'm sure we're all going to know in a few years time and in the football manager world in FM24 when it comes out if he's still at his club he is going to be one of the must sign players he's an electric talent and for me he goes into my dream team I know you guys might have had different strikers in yours so let me know in the comments who you would have had but there we go that is our wonder kid dream 11 of fm23 and it's only a few months now until we start playing fm24 and talking about a whole new list of wonder kids